who is Compi? His real name is Isidore August Marie Francis Xavier Comp or August Comp. Uh, he was born on January 19, 1798 in Montpellier, France. Um, he is believed to be the man who created sociology and positivism, and we'll both get into that later so you guys know what that, that is. Um, his role model was a great socialist, Henry St. Simon. Uh, he believed that people with a little money will be helped through the advancements of technology, so he really looked into technology and what it could do for uh, other people. Um, he also wanted society to follow the sciences of men. So, for example, we all follow, like people follow a different religion. He wanted other people to say, okay, instead of saying, I'm Christian, you would say, I follow this type of scientist. Like, I believe in what he has, he has to say and the things that uh, he preaches and stuff like that. Um, so his idea of society was more based on science and technology. Um, and Comp liked this because growing up, uh, he was born into a, a Catholic and monarch, monarchist family. So he didn't really know which side to choose. Um, he was somewhat atheist. He didn't want to side with either his father or his mother. So therefore, he didn't believe in God. Um, uh, yeah, this triggered, actually this uh, made him realize that uh, he wanted to shy away from religion. And that's when uh, he started becoming interested in uh, several sciences and uh, transferring science into society as a whole. Um, yeah, uh, religion became a struggle for him. He didn't really know what to follow, so he kind of just let that be. Um, um, Comp did have love in his life, but it never lasted very long. He was married to a woman named Caroline but they got a divorce. Um, he quickly moved on and had a romantic relationship with another woman named Matilde. However, she died and he turned to the love of religion, created his own religion of humanity. At political construction, um, Comte, living in France during the time of the 18th century, the, the revolution was popular, and um, he lived in the city of uh, Montpellier. And um, it was not accommodating towards royalist recognition. So uh, Comte believed in individual freedom and uh, republicanism. Uh, he uh, expressed his hatred for Napoleon throughout his youth, but um, he structured his own at Church of Science um, as he was a leader. And um, this is similar to another philosopher, Socrates, who placed himself at the head of society. Um, Comte was the head of the scientific world. Um, positiv positivism. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, Comte was the man who I thought of positivism. That was sort of his philosophy. And um, he broke it into three stages. Um, his first stage was <coughs> the theological form. And uh, he broke this stage into like three sub-stages. First was animism and uh, this was turning everyday objects into um, like a religion towards ship and uh, second stage was polytheism and this was an explanation of things through a number of gods uh, third stage was monotheism and this attributes all to a single deity or uh, one god and um, as I said before like Comte was uh, the guy who first like in in previous like uh, worldviews and like previous in life, philosophers weren't like focusing on like the study of uh, society. So uh, Comte was the first to like really study uh, sociology and like how we as people why we do the things we do. And uh, and uh, the second stage um, of Comte's. Uh, Theory was um, the metaphysical stage. Um, this is basically the kind of problem. Um, it surrounds me.
mainly the person's uh, beliefs. Um, deeper, uh, the deeper meaning of the meta metaphysical form would be uh, would be Kant didn't refer to the metaphysics of Aristotle or other ancient Greek philosophers, which was most popular at the time, because ancient Greek philosophers were what everyone took like, all of their meaning from. Um, it was more rooted in the French society during the revolution of 1789, so this is like what is philosophy actually like related to more than the regular ancient Greek style. Um, this phase involved the justification of universal rights, so he went into detail about universal rights uh, and like what they actually meant, so he laid the groundwork for that. Uh, the phase was known as the phase of investigation, and this was like the first point in which people began questioning authority. Um, instead, like before this, like people blindly followed leaders and just did whatever their ancestors did. Um, they believed in, uh, obviously believed in God, religion was heavily, inf heavily influenced them. But uh, Kant like really introduced this whole stage of like investigation. Like you question your leaders and um, authority, and eventually religion. So this brought like this brought like a lot of change because um, when they're questioning authority, obviously they're going to find some problems, and it's uh, you know it's going to lead to some change. Um, uh, the this is believed that the authority of the whole population is more important than what the main president or ruler has to say. So this is like basically the stage of the people. Um, this is positive, positivism. The, his last stage is the positive stage. Um, positive stage refers to what you believe in, involving the situation, what your opinion is. Um, that is the positivity stage, the steps to finding a true answer. Uh, it's similar, very similar to the scientific method. Um, it's based on the observ observation, experiment, and comparison. So, like, more or less, it's just saying for every like, every action, it's not like the ancient Greek like view of things where you blame a god for, or like a god of something for what happens, or like, for the unexplainable, such so like natural disasters, which is most commonly used for. Um, use the distinct method to find like. The answer to the problems, and this is the beginning stages of people actually coming up with answers to problems instead of just playing that it was a god of that personal problem. All right, uh, Comte's uh, epistemology. Um, Comte described what he believed the three stages and everything through. Uh, science and mathematics in a, a book that he created and wrote called The Course in Positive Philosophy, which is what his philosophy and his belief uh, was based around. And this is kind of how he got what he believed uh, kind of out to the people so they could understand where he was coming from and what he was thinking. Uh, there were many parts uh, in this book or in these books or this book in particular, um, mainly revolving around math, uh, math and science, just like the subjects you learn about in school. Um, but Comte thought of many different types of science, so he's seen as kind of like the king of science, the guy who created it. He, kind of, uh, he created pretty much uh, biology, chemistry, physics, uh, looking up at the stars, astronomy, and mathematics, and that's kind of, uh, that's where his main thought process was based behind. Um, he also believed that we come to know things through our ancestors, in addition to mathematics and uh, his way of uh, philosophy. Um, it's part of the theological stage we just talked about. And um, pretty much we learn things through our grandparents and people that have experienced things before we have. So they kind of pass down, uh, they pass down what they know to us. Um, we also communicate with one another through business and good decision making. So it's just like what your parents do in work. They, how they uh, make money and communicate with uh, their coworkers and clients is also another form of uh, communication and how information is passed down from one another. Also, listening and learning through the five senses is uh, another way in which we can learn. Uh, we learn things, obviously, through listening to people, just like you guys do in school. When you hear the teacher talk or something, you uh, listen and take notes. It's uh, another form of information, uh, 
uh, way information is passed down and learned and gained through new generations. So we want you guys to remember that Comte is the king of science. He created the law of the three stages. Uh, that's why we make the decisions we do, and that there is many different ways to learn. <coughs> um, for the second part, if you don't understand the PowerPoint, we're going to help you learn your ABCs for August Comp. So, let me start it off. Alright. You want to see the title page? Okay. A is for August Comte. August Comte was a great French philosopher who created sociology and positivism. That's a little photo of August right there. B is for brilliance. Comte was known as the first philosopher of science with a light bulb above him. is for the course of positive philosophy. Uh, this was a book written by Combs and this described positivism. <laughs> D is for doctor. Uh, Combs studied to be a doctor after the school he attended closed in 1816. E is for Ecole Polytechnique, and this is the school he attended in France. Uh, this was a school of higher education, and uh, he was admitted here, and this is one of the oldest universities in Europe, and that's a picture of the school right there. And it's, uh, F is for France. Uh, he was born in Montpellier, France in 1798. Okay. G is for the general view of positivism. Uh, this was written by Comte, which described the de development of positivism in sociology. Here's a picture of it. Uh, H is for Henry Saint Simon. Uh, Henry Saint Simon was Comte's role model. He was a great socialist and believed in technology and created the religion of humanity. Here's a picture of him right here. Eyes are inspirational. Uh, the works of Karl Marx, uh, John Stuart Mill, and George Eliot are inspired by August Comte. K is for Karl Marx, and uh, Comte inspired Karl Marx, and each of them, <laughs> each of them shared similarity, similarities with human society and positivism. Okay. L is for the law of the stages, and um, Comte believed knowledge passes through three different stages, theological, metaphysical, and positive, and that's like his main Physics. This is the second stage in Comp's law of three stages. It helps people understand things in different ways. And it's for Napoleon. Napoleon was a powerful man who led a revolution uh, that eventually failed. After this happened, people used science, um, the thing Comp created, to help answer their questions. Progress. This is the motto of the, of the country Brazil and was inspired by Kant's motto of positivism. Through love and communication, things will get better. P 
is for positivism. This is this was a theory idea that Kant created. Kant believed everything we need to know in life comes from math and science. It is also the third stage of Kant's law. Of the three stages. Q is for quasi religious. This was what Kant became after Platon de Vos, the woman he loved, died. Because she was no longer alive, he focused his love on religion. Kant created a new religion of humanity with the help of his friend named John Stuart Mill. R is for religion of humanity. This is the type of religion Kant created after Clotilde de Vos, the woman he loved, died. It consisted of generosity, giving people, thing, giving people things, uh, laws following rules and consequences. S is for science. Kant was seen as the founder of the man who created science. He saw to have created biology, physics, and astronomy. These are subjects you'll take in school someday. All right, T is for theological. This is the first stage in Kant's law, the three stages. The God or gods that we believe in explain everything to us. Some people believe in one God, and other people believe in many different gods. U is for the uh, University of Montpellier, and this is the name of the school, uh, another school where Comte received his education, and it's also one of the oldest schools in all of Europe. V is for vocal. Comte was a very vocal person. He always expressed his thoughts and ideas. He shared what he believed in and what he had to say with the rest of the world. W is for wise. Just like the other philosophers, Comte was very smart and he developed his own ideas. A lot of old people are wise too, just like your grandparents. X is for x-ray. X-rays allow people to see more into detail. Comte always expressed what he believed in using many details and long processes, just like the law of three stages. Y is for yappy. Uh, this is just a fancy word for someone who talks a lot. Comte has always talked to everyone about his new ideas because he wanted them to understand what he was thinking. And Z is for zippy. This is uh, just a fancy word for someone who's energetic. Comte was always very excited to find out new things about how humans acted. And he was so excited about this, he even wrote a book about it. And that's the ABCs of August Half. The crowd shot here. Say hi. <laughs> uh, questions? Questions? Greg, you want to start us off with some questions? <laughs> Oh, you gave yourself a lot of credit for that. That's good. Half is a lot more than I give. Richmond, how about you? Do I have any questions? Yeah. No. no? Okay. Anybody else? John, maybe? Doing okay over there? <laughs> All right. All right. Um, good. Golden, why don't, I, why don't I get from my graders, if you will? You guys can grab a seat.